Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point's Terror from the Void. Let's unpause it and uh, and get time moving. Uh, we are clearly keeping tabs on the behemoth. It's supposed to be going back below the water, um, but for now we're just you know, going to shoot down anything that comes at us from it. And in the meantime we have... A haven under attack so i guess that's what we're doing right uh, i was going to say we're passing time waiting for the exalted temple to be uh constructed but uh yeah beta team here is a job for you let's get them across they'll be uh, quite happy about it uh, all of our uh, rapid response strike craft uh have recovered from their little scuffles over here uh, yeah. I mean, Annie's going to like us. Everyone else is going to dislike us more for this. At this point, I've kind of given up on New Jericho being friends. That is definitely something that they've done well with this mod, is the uh, the balancing of the diplomacy side, like the, the different changes you get for the different missions. It is possible to get allied with all of them, but it takes a lot of effort, and I'm not willing to put that much effort in. Right. Uh... Sorry, Christian, you are not coming along. I really need to drop you off just so you're not coming along on these, these missions because it's embarrassing. It really is embarrassing having you there and not coming in. One thing I was uh, thinking of doing, actually, is we have delirium on some people and we could do the experimental treatment to try and get it gone. Especially on those that uh, that aren't mutated. Because they're not going to be getting any benefit from it. Stamina reduced to zero. Well, that's inconvenient. Maybe doing it now is not the best time. Well, this is going to be tired for this one. You know what? We'll uh, we'll do it on you as well. It's heavily sedated. Stamina reduced to zero. You've got a head, Anton. Didn't see anything crop up on that. Also, oh yeah, we can't augment at the moment because our, all of our facilities have been destroyed. Well, that's inconvenient. Yeah, not not seeing it report any any side effects let's let's send the team in um maybe they got lucky maybe there was uh, there was no side effects at all it is experimental uh from what i gather there's random mods that you can get but who knows what they are yes people are tired that's my fault i mean that is what you get when uh, you leave me in charge of these kind of things all right, we need to kill all the enemies uh, as per normal defend the haven. So looking at it tactically, we're gonna do our standard plan. We're gonna look for any defenders that we can commandeer. Uh, and failing that, we're gonna look to get some high ground and spot where the Pandorans might be. Now in coming on this mission, everyone has managed to get some, uh, some more delirium, so Clearing it out in this area probably wasn't the most uh, most useful for us. It is what it is. I'm I'm not thinking this is going to be much of a threat to us. Let's get somewhere central. This looks cool. Watch this. Okay, we've got a couple of enemies spotted, and they are not where I thought they were going to be. Uh, and a couple of civvies spotted. There is something down there beneath us. Moving to coordinates. Okay, it's a civvy. That's good. That was a risky maneuver. Uh, let's start sending them towards the exit. They can kind of be a bit of a scout for us. So 
So all the Pandorans, oh, there's one over there, are for the majority over this direction. Uh, I should have done Frenzy at the start, so let's do that now. It doesn't matter so much for Anton, but for everyone else, it's kind of important. <laughs> Okay, Bethany, look how far you can get. Do we go straight up the top? I mean, I do, I do like the idea of really going for it. I think if we get to here, kill this one. Kill these two. And then for good measure, we can give you exertion. We're not going to get you able to do a melee shot, but we'll probably get you able to, like, new to this guy. Who else have you seen? Oh, right down the end. That is that is some uh, some excellent eyes. Also down the end. That's fine. Oh, the civilians are gonna gonna be in so much trouble. Okay, let's have a look at him. Uh, right in the face. I think that is the smart choice in this situation. I honestly thought that was going to kill him from what it was telling me. So we might be, maybe, just maybe, in a little spot of bother. It's all right, we'll, we'll figure it out, we always do. How are we gonna deal with these guys? Dashing on down is how we're gonna do it, and then some rapid clearance, I think. I think that is the way to go. In fact, if we get to here, with some, some dashing. We could do rapid clearance killing on... on this one, just to make sure he's done. So here's the dash. You can see one's... Um, see, now the temptation is just to come down here and... and clear all three, like, clear these, and I think I'm going to have to do that. I do wish we had a little bit more movement. you got 250 health, so you're going to survive quite the wallop. You've got much less. Because rapid clearance is going to get us pretty far. Ooh, we could actually use... We could use Adrenaline Rush and Onslaught to give you two action points. For one action point cost. That's kind of interesting. So, if we were going to do that, you'll be able to finish these two off, but we're going to be in the wrong place for it. Like, for any additional combat we're going to do. So it is going to be a bit of a sacrifice, but I want to test it to see if it does what I think it's going to do. So how close are we going to need to be for this onslaught? I think stepping to here should be fine. Just... Cool. So in theory, we can get a little bit closer. 
and do like a quick aim shot down this way or we can get into cover and getting into cover is probably going to be more useful slash sensible so if we're gonna get into cover let's uh let's start with the killing up here oh you know what i should have done i should have used gun katar that was a complete waste it's fine because what we're going to do is we're going to do Gun Katar down here. Uh, we don't need to kill this guy, but... I do like the idea of doing it. And what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a decoy out. And that's going to help. So, let's have a decoy. Laura, you can get properly into some cover. I wish there was some, like, heavy cover around here that wasn't in a really annoying place. Oh, maybe we could dash around here. We can dash around the corner. Sort of-ish. Don't like it, but that's heavy cover. Go there. And then tuck yourselves in. Okay. It's a plan. It's totally a plan. Elif, you are stealthed. I think we're going to totally abuse your vanish to come over here, get in a position to start like whittling some gunshots and then go on overwatch with a big thing. So vanishing on through. I do think this uh, this should probably be patched and balanced. I don't know how I would patch it and balance it. Maybe have it so you can only use it once or twice a turn. Twice would make sense. Like once to hide if you didn't have it and then take a shot and then hide again afterwards. But as this is, I am happy to keep abusing it while while it's available for me to do so all right siren hellion what are we going to do with you in the tail tail seems good 108 damage <laughs> got plenty more where that came from So we're not going to be able to kill it. But we're going to do a hell of a lot of damage to it. And actually I'm going to I'm going to have the last bit as the Overwatch. Okay, next up, Helmy. We could probably get you in, like, over here. You're not going to be able to overwatch like that. Oh, but we could, uh, we can dash you in. Then move you in a little bit and then do a shoulder-mounted laser. Now, from what it was showing me, I thought we were going to be able to get a shot on this guy. Maybe not from... Yeah, it's a bit... bit sketch. I reckon the carapace would be able to... to get through that, but if it doesn't want to let me, I'm not gonna... not gonna complain too much. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to... trying to click on it, but it's not... not getting the lock on. Shame I can't just target something on the other side of him, really. A little bit of viral damage. Better than nothing. Okay. Gio. Pulling down this way could be cool.
bring you in. And we'll go on Overwatch just in case anyone gets in a place where you can see them. I don't think they will, but just in case. Uh, this civvy can come across, run through the open. And that leaves us with Liz, who is tired. And Eileen, who is... Not tired, but did the frenzy. Let's uh, let's bring it this way. It's a long first turn, but uh, we did we did things a little bit differently this time. Let's see what the consequences of that are. Hey, look, Anu does actually have a defender. They're just completely the wrong side of the map. Pretty speedy though. There's the Overwatch. Flinging that many bullets. I'm very happy with how that went. Oh, now that is just rude. The Anu Defender is in a prime position. To return fire. I think we're gonna we're gonna do some rapid clearance around here. Laura, you're a little bit injured, but it's fine is what I'm gonna tell you. Let's uh get you in place. Do the rapid clearance. Can't do the quick aim. So first one down. Then we can use kill and run uh, to move to here, which is actually a brilliant place for getting both impact. You're mostly injured. Oh, sorry, you're, you're panicked. In the back leg. That works so well. I think this guy is pretty much guaranteed to die. Okay, we're feeling a fair bit better. Uh, we can still dash and keep fighting. So let's dash to here. See if we can wing this guy significantly. I kind of need him to lean out nicely like that, actually. Oh, he's using a harrower. That's pretty cool. Uh, we could definitely get some people in to help with this. Uh, Giyu, I think we don't really need to heal the poison because we're not suffering that much. Let's move to here. And we'll allow this guy to return fire. Save us on some, uh, some ammo. I guess we're going to need to shoot him anyway. Uh, yeah, shoot him with this. We'll do a quick aim. Hopefully this is the last of them. Nice. Didn't suffer any more poison damage. Obviously, played a little bit fast and loose, but with how strong the team is, we don't need to take it carefully and safely on, on these Haven missions. There we go. All done and dusted. It looks like we have a lair to take out, so we'll send the team straight down to do that. Uh, beta 1 and Beta 2. They'll be there in just a moment. Uh, and before we do that, can we tell how, how long 
two days for the uh, Temple of the Exalted. I know we're going to have to defend it once it's uh, once it's done, but uh, it's worth finding out how how far away it is. Uh, let's send the team in. Sorry, Christian, you're still not coming along. I am tempted to do some more experimental treatment on on the team. Okay, right. Anton appears to be afflicted with hyperalgesia. Lose one will point when taking damage, no will point loss when allies die. Subject has extreme sensitivity to pain and exhibits symptoms of empathy fatigue. For me, this is terrible because I try and make sure that allies don't die, but that is kind of amusing. Um, Bethany, you can have one. Did not suffer any lasting side effects, but it's tired. Okay, that we're not going to do any more because we're just going to end up janking the squad completely. Or maybe we, we could we could afford to do Liz. Okay, didn't do anything. Let's send them in. It looks like we can already see our target, so that's going to make things quite a bit easier for us. Uh, there is one Pandoran that is miles away. So let's actually just start with with the big things. Mark for death on this, and then we'll start trying to shred off its armor. Hell, we don't even need to get close to it. We can probably just blast it with everyone at range. Shoot the eggs from here and everything. Yeah, we definitely want to blast off the armor first with anyone who can. So... I don't believe it was worth doing armor break. At least not any additional. This doesn't do shred. So it's, it's more about the angle. And going for the body seems like a reasonable call course of action. Is there, is there anything that we can actually lock onto here? Sort of. Lock onto one of those back eggs. It is better than nothing. Okay. Uh, we can do armor breaking with Elif. And this is actually going to be quite efficient, whether it's the shell or uh, or the body itself. We'll try and spread it around because it's going to be tricky getting. Getting shots perfectly on target. So the next ones are going in the shell. And that way whoever's shooting, wherever they're shooting, we're going to be maxing out our damage. Okay. Bethany. Definitely want to go for the egg pod. Good job. You're not done yet, though. Exertion. You may be tired, but you're not that tired. I think probably focusing on the body is the best. So much damage. That is a hell of a lot. Eileen. Probably going to be best to use the pistol. And the laser, of course. Can you lock onto the back eggs just so that it's got more chance of hitting a worthwhile target? 
Very nice. Gunslinger. The body is gone. We can do that again. Oh, we could just keep doing Gunslinger. This is way more damage than I thought we were going to do. Good job, Eileen. Really good job. Okay, who is next? Geo. Well, aimed burst makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I just keep doing it at the body. But we could do it at the shell and uh, carry on stripping that down. We could do a quick aim, regular, regular laser shot actually, that's probably a better option. Yeah, go for the shell. Strip off a little bit more armour for everyone else. Laura, you can't actually see from where you are, we're going to have to reposition you. Let's pull you over here. I think that's a reasonable shot. Looks good enough. Okay, we can see a dude who is going to be a problem. We're going to ignore him. How does this look? This looks good enough that we can actually just do a quick aim blast. And rapid clearance, just in case we get it. It feels a bit less accurate, but... Oh, so close. Another quick aim. We'll definitely get it on the next one, and uh, then we can spin around at the other targets. Or start leaving. That is the other option. But this is the guy I was mostly thinking about. Pretty good. Can't do another quick aim. But we can can move slash leave. And I think starting to get everyone out is gonna be the right call. Right, out you go everyone. Uh do an electric reinforcement for those who are gonna stick around. Definitely having the thing visible right from the start makes a big difference. Being able to destroy it in one turn trivializes the mission somewhat, but... Now that's just rude. That is the right way to run. Good job. Oh my god, will you stop just flinging acid at us? How much are you going to do? And then you carry on doing more things. I feel like I'm going to just be like, no, I'm, I'm doing a veto. Uh, you know what, you're, you're going to heal up when, when we send you to rest. You can just get out. I'm going to do a veto on the Acorons getting acid attacks. That's just bad and wrong. Bethany, get out before it burns through all your stuff. There's no incentive for us to kill anything more. We could stick around and pick up some of the uh, stuff from the various crates, but really, we're, we're not pushed for, for resources. So, let's just go.
we'll send the team back. We'll get the uh, the injuries taken care of. Uh, but yeah, very efficient. And we got enough rep that it countered the problem Hi. of New Jericho. We've been working together well. so well. I thought I'd send over a little gift. Just some new tech we've been working on here in the lab. A new multi-mode fibers, quantum capacitors, self-sealing stem bolts, that sort of thing. Does that sound good? Um, sure. I want to find out whether this affects us diplomatically. Yeah, New Jericho Excellent. and Anu don't like it. Honestly, I'm just excited to share this stuff. I spend so much time in the lab, it all becomes very abstract, you know? Just incrementing numbers. Forgetting that there are real people out there whose lives are affected by the technologies we develop. Even the simple ones. Now, anyway, I'll let you get back to saving the world. When he says simple ones, does he mean the simple lives or the simple technologies? Because I don't think we've got simple lives. Right, you guys need to go and heal. There is a medical facility there, so... B to two, B to one, get back, and you can rest up. Really? All right. A missionary temple. That's that's something that I haven't seen before. That's very cool. All right, well, uh, I guess, beta team, you're not getting to rest. Really sorry. I'm going to have to uh, send you up. But we are out of time for today. We're not going to have time to do this mission as well. Repel a module for your hat. I mean, wear a little little flower on your face. It's, it's a really nice idea. Um, and I do think that this is something that we could put on some people if mist was more of a threat, but it's it's not enough of a threat that I would spend time on it. Okay, more research has been shared with us. Advanced paralyzing weapons, let's put those in. Venom crossbow development is great. Uh, the advanced paralyzing weapons, if we wanted to capture a Scylla, they would be kind of vital uh, but I think we're mostly going to ignore them oh I did not see that there was a big 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 horrible thing for us to face all right I guess we're gonna have to huh we're gonna have to engage threat level extreme I think that's that's accurate it's got lots of rams so just not being in close quarters would be the way of dealing with it so the Void Chamber is the thing with the biggest frames, then the Napalm Breath. So the Void Chamber has to go first. That's coming along well. Okay, really good. Go for the Napalm Breath and be ready to just back out, I guess. Is this a guaranteed hit? Accuracy 100%, yes it is. So let's disengage. Knowing that it's going to cause issues. Okay, we need to head down here. And yeah, we are definitely going to take care of this. Is it going to let me select my other craft? Probably not. Let's cycle through. That's going to be a better way of doing it. Delivery. Intercept. Okay, so the delivery has, is also going to go for the name palm breath. And then after that, maybe the rams? The rams do a lot of damage. Let's, let's start off... Oh, but they have visual guidance, so afterburners could work. Yeah, we'll start off with the delivery. Napalm Breath has to go. You know what, let's, let's get them both targeting it. 
just to be safer. That's not good. One down. It's gone, but we are flamed. So we're going to have to leave. Yeah, we can't can't do anything else. Strike Force 1, it's on you. We want to take out the rams. Jeez, we we need way more for this. We need to hit it 10 times, so we can't just uh, hang on, cool down to five seconds. Duration of 10 seconds. Yeah, it's going to be sketchy. So we need to hit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We need to hit 12 times to take out the Rams, or we can just go for the Abaddon itself. Go, go for the Rams. I don't think we're going to really do what I want. Oh, God. Not like that. Okay, one gone. Is this just going to knock us clean out? Yeah. Let's use the afterburner now. Okay. But we did miss, so I think we're about to really suffer. No, no, we're still good. Okay, one more gone. after this. Okay, we took we tanked one hit. And another hit on a gun. But we have taken out all of its defenses. Oh blimey. We've got six shots left with each gun. At this rate, we are not going to take it out. Hopefully we can get one of the other ships back. So close, so close. The thing is, if we hadn't focused on these, it would have had enough ammo to kill us. Okay, we need to give it a moment. They're under attack, that's fine, we're going to come back and help them. Okay, Strike Force 1, you need to reload slash repair. Come up this way. Strike Force 2, come back. Delivery, come back. And we are going to knock that thing out of the sky. 
It's not had any time to repair. Take it out. Oh, come on, guys. You could do better than that. For 70% accuracy, we are not feeling it. There it goes. 120 tech reward. Doesn't feel worth it, that one. Okay, you need to repair. Let's bring you down here. And the delivery itself is fine. Okay, that's where we're going to finish this episode. Uh, we end up going on a little bit longer than I expected. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point Terror from the Void. See you soon.